purpose of this video is to see how to fill out an amortization table for a loan and how to determine the equity on the loan after a certain number of payments. So with this example, you borrow 500000 at 3% APR to purchase a home. You plan to pay out the loan in 30 years with the monthly payments of 2100 so we want to make an amortization table showing payments over the first three months and round each answer to two decimal places whenever necessary and use the rounded answers to calculate the remaining values. So here's our table. We have uh, the payment number in the first column, the amount of the payment in the second column, how much is going to go to interest from that payment, how much will go to the balance from that payment, and then what's remaining on the balance, the outstanding balance. So um, how we calculate what goes towards interest is we first divide the APR by 12 because we want to know that's the annual percentage rate. We want to know what rate would go per month towards the interest. So um, the APR in this case is 3%. So we would do 3% divided by the 12 and get... Um, 1 over 4 percent, which is 0.25 percent, which if we convert that to a decimal is going to be 0.0025. So this number comes from multiplying 0.0025 times the original amount borrowed. So if we do that, we take 0.25 percent of 500,000, then we're going to get 1250. That's where this number comes from. 0.25% of the original amount borrowed is 1250. 0.25% of 500,000 equals 1250. That's how much of the monthly payment is going to go towards the interest on the loan. If we subtract that from the payment amount, so 2100 minus 1250, to get what's applied to the balance. That's where this 850 comes from. We're subtracting 1250 from 2100. So that's how much of the first payment will go towards the principal or outstanding balance on the loan. To get this amount here, this number, we subtract what's applied to the balance from the original amount borrowed. So, because we're applying this to what was borrowed. So, if you subtract 850 from 500,000, 500,000 minus 850, then you'll get this number here. It's what's remaining on the loan. So, to find what would be applied to interest the second month, we would find 0.25, we'd find 0.25% um, of this number here. So 0.25% of um, this number is where we get this number here. Then that's what's applied to interest in the second month. We subtract this from 2100 to get this number here. It's what's applied to the balance. It's what's left of the payment after we've paid the interest on the loan. So then we take this number and subtract it from the outstanding balance to get the new outstanding balance. And then we just do the same thing again here. This would be 0.25% um, of what's remaining, 498.297.88 cents. So we find what that is and um, we can use Desmos to find that. 0.0025 times 498 eight cents gives us 1245.74. So that's how much is going to go towards interest in the third month. Then we just subtract that from 2100 to see how much of the payment will go towards the balance owed. And 
the result is 854.26. So that's what will go towards the balance owed. We subtract this from the outstanding balance to see what the new outstanding balance will be. We're taking what we still owe and we are subtracting what's being applied to the balance that month to see what is the new amount that we will still owe after our third payment towards the loan. So that's this amount here. So that's what goes in this box. And if you're doing this correctly, you should see that the amount that's applied to interest is going down over time. It starts out high and goes down. And the amount that's applied to the balance of the monthly payment is going up over time. If we want to know what the equity for the loan is after three months, uh, then we want to find the difference between um, the original amount borrowed and the outstanding balance after three months. So we would subtract this number from 500,000 to get the equity in the loan. So 500,000 minus 497,443.62 cents. Oops, that should be a four. So here's the equity in the loan after three months according to our amortization table. So that's how you solve this question. And these, how you complete an amortization table, and how you calculate equity on a loan.